Hey guys, it's your girl, Lashes Tony X. Oh, how are you guys doing today? Can you guys believe that it's almost August? I don't know if you're going to see this August 1st or the last week of July, but I'm filming my July empties. What? I cannot believe this, guys. I have so many empties. Um, Let's just get started, okay? Let's not waste any time. Um, okay, so I'm just going to go through these. I think today we're going to do mainly skincare. So we're going to do skincare empties. Um, Alright, this is the Glam Glow Cool Sheet No Drip Hydrating Mask. I, I talked about this sheet mask in my Shop My Stash video. You guys know how I feel about it. I love this product. I just wish it wasn't $14 a sheet. Um, it's very pricey for a sheet mask. I personally feel like but on the other hand I would repurchase it I do think it's worth the $14 it sticks to your skin it sticks not in a bad way but it doesn't slip and slide it even says on here that it is a no drip hydrating mask it, it, because it just like it's a thicker um, fabric than those really thin ones so it doesn't drip it doesn't slip and slide it just fits me perfectly and i have kind of a small face so i'm always looking for a really good sheet mask and this one for me was a winner so so this one right here we'll talk about this one this one is by mesquiteology it's the under eye gold gel masks um this is a skin tightening um it's supposed to be a skin tightening uh, little jellies they're gold that you just like place under your eyes if you have like puffy eyes if you've been crying they're really good for that um, they're supposed to be 24 pure carrot golds um, they have collagen in it and you get um, two sets so you get two uses and I loved these things I got these from my son's girlfriend Ashley and I really really like them um, they give you like that just really soothing calming and it just brings down the puffiness up under your eyes and I don't know where she picked these up but I would love to find more of these um, this was a gift so I don't know where she purchased them but um, like I said if you know anything about this brand then I would highly pick them up because they work really well for puffiness up under your, your eyes. And it does have collagen in it, which is really good for you. So, I highly recommend these. I would definitely repurchase these if I could find them. Um, they were winners for me. Um, okay, I have two of these. I can't remember what I got them in. But I think there was like a, a box. I just don't know what box it was. I think it was like some, maybe Fat Fit Fun. That's the only subscription service that I have at the moment. So I'm thinking maybe it was a Fab Pit Fun Box one time or something. I don't know. But anyway, these are the Glam Glow Bubble Sheet Masks. I love these things. I love the way they feel on my skin. It just feels, feels so refreshing and so clean. And it just, I love, it feels like just very like little fingers just touching your face and I just love how clean my skin feels after I use these so I definitely would repurchase these um I don't know how much these sheets are because I've never purchased them like just on my own but if I had to guess since they are glam glow I know they're gonna at least be eight dollars a sheet don't know how much they are but I definitely think they're great um they're supposed to detoxify purify, remo remove any type of uh, makeup on your face. If you guys remember, this was a while back when Tati did a, it was when the bubble masks just came out and Tati did a review on it and I think she did it like, and she had all these little bubbles and then everybody started, you know, wearing the sheet mask with the bubbles. I love it. I think they feel great and I'm a fan. So I would definitely repurchase these. Um, I don't know. Let me know in the comments what do you think about these. I love them. Okay, these right here were pretty great as well. These are also like the um, 
the gold eye bags, little patches that I showed you. These are from Tarte. These are the Tarte Skincare. They're called Pack Your Bags, which is a convenient name. Um, it says 911 under our rescue patches. And so I can't remember how many I got in a set, but I'm the type of person I like to share what I get. So I think I had bought a box of these and I kept one for myself and then I gave some away as gifts or something. So I only had one little set, but they were really, oh my gosh, they felt so good up under my eyes. I want to say these are pretty pricey for a pack of them. You get more than one sheet, if I'm not mistaken. I I don't know maybe you get like four in a box or something I don't remember it is um, a Tarte skincare so I'm sure you could um, check it out um, it says right here www dot that let's try that again www.tarte.com but I'm pretty sure I picked mine up at Ulta or Sephora probably Ulta um, so yeah I would recommend them I love anything that kind of de-puffs my under eyes because, you know, there are, you know, days like if it's that time of the month where I feel puffy or if I'm sad, I will cry. Um, and I do get puffy after I cry and stuff like that. And, or maybe I'm filming early in the morning and things like that and you just want to tone down that puffiness. These types of things are awesome. So I definitely would repurchase that. Um, this is a sheet mask. Um, this is just from the drugstore by Garnier. It's the Garnier Skin Active Moisture Balm Sheet Mask. The super hydrating mask. Um, it's supposed to deeply hydrate and balance the skin and reduce your pores. Um, I remember liking this. Um, it is very, like, it's got green tea to me it felt very hydrating and i enjoyed it so it and it's drugstore so it's very convenient i could pick this up at target walmart wherever i'm just running in to get something um you'll find these and you only get one sheet but it like i said it is a drugstore so they're very convenient and green tea is really good for your skin so i personally would repurchase this i really did enjoy that um, this one I got, I think when I had that subscription, or maybe it was an empty. I don't know. This is the Nature, Nature, what does that say? I ripped the top of it off. Um, Nature Recall. Nature, I'm not sure what that says because I ripped it off, so I don't really know. But it is a honey, uh, nourishing and smooth complexion sheet mask, and it's by Secret Key. Um, anything with honey, I really do enjoy for the skin. Um, I don't remember, I don't think this was like a standout skin mask for me, so it's not something I would like run to purchase, but I do enjoy, you know, sheet masks, so yeah. It's the Jergens Natural Glow Daily Moisturizer. It's supposed to firm, um, and you're supposed to reduce the appearance of cellulite in seven days. Isn't that a miracle in a tube? Um, this is for medium to tan skin tones. Gives you a gra gradual looking tan. I don't like the smell of this. This smells very gross to me. Um, I don't know if it's just went bad or it smells really funky to me. Um, and I don't, I don't know why because the color still... Ugh. The color is still okay, but the smell, I just can't do it. So, I am throwing this. I'm decluttering this, throwing it away. So, say no to this. So, the first tanning product I want to talk about besides the Jergens one that I'm decluttering is the Isle of Paradise. This is the dark self-tanning mousse. It is vegan, cruelty-free. Um, it's organic. Um, I believe it's fragrance fragrance free and all that good stuff um i don't love this product but i think i just got a bad one um it says hello bronze glow it gives you a it does give you a bronzy glow but it, i don't i don't feel like it it says it's dark and i feel like honestly it's more of a medium self tanner and also the um nozzle is broke so i had to like open it up and like 
pour. It was very, very liquidy. It wasn't because when you pump it is how it makes the mousse. You know what I mean? So if you just open it, it's super like watery. So it was just a big a mess. So for me, I'm not going to repurchase this product. But like I said, I think I just got a bad one. So if you do, if you do own this product, let me know your experience with this. But for me, I'm going to pass on this and I would not repurchase this. Okay. Um, another bronzer that I definitely would repurchase. And I had talked to uh, Kelly Lindsay, if you're watching this, I'm talking about you. Um, she was asking me about a really good, um, what drugstore self-tanner would I recommend? And I told her I had one that I am absolutely in love with, and that is this. This one right here is the best, the best affordable self-tanner that you can find. It is the best. I highly recommend this one. I have it in dark. This is the St. Mart's, um professional developing this is like it's just like the Saint Tropez one um it's pretty much dupe for that and the Saint Tropez one is like my all-time favorite self tanner it is pretty pricey it's like around that $40 mark I want to say this is $12 at Ulta so I love this I also think you can pick this up at Target but I'm not for sure. I'll try to find the link for this and put it in the description box if you guys want to check this product out. Um, but yeah, this is the drugstore self-tanner that I would recommend to anyone. It is fabulous. It's going to give you that same um, bronzy glow as the, um, what is that one that all the big YouTubers talk about? The um, Loving Tan. I used to own that as well. So, this is going to be just as good, if not better, than Loving Tan, Saint Tropez, all those high-end bronzers. This one is amazing, and it's like $11 or $12, which you cannot beat that. So, Kelly Lindsay, if you're watching, I highly recommend this. So, give it a luminous body bronzer. So, if you can still find this at Victoria's Secret, then I would highly recommend picking it up. It's not going to give you a full color to your skin like the one I just showed you. It's not gonna build color like the Jergens, but it is just gonna give you like, if you rubbed, you know, like a, a moisturizer or body lotion all over your body and just got like a, a glowy look. That's what this is. Okay, so we have two more bronzers to talk about. This one, oh my God, this is gorgeous. Gorgeous, but this is the type of product I feel like you need if you already have a tan or if you are developing like self tanner and you're like you just want your skin to look flawless this is good to add into your self tanning routine um, it's by Vita and it is a body blurring sunless glow um, it is this one's called latte I'm pretty sure they had different one different colors I picked this up at Ulta. It was super expensive. So, if you don't want to add, I mean, this is not this is not this is not going to give you like a self tanner look on your own on its own and it's expensive. So, this is something you would add to your routine if you understand what I'm saying. It is just supposed to give your body like this blurring effect. And it's, it's like a primer almost, but it does give you like color, but it's just not going to give you a lot of color. If, does that make any sense? It's hard to explain. It's a very interesting product, but I personally really, really liked it. And if I really like something, I don't mind paying $40 for this little tube right here. Um, and I don't know, I just, it's 3.38 fluid ounces. Like I said, I got mine at Ulta. And I know they had different colors. This one's in latte, and I think the one, there's one darker than this that I wanted, but they were sold out. Um, I would definitely go darker. Um, but yeah, I liked it, so I would definitely repurchase it. And another, the last, like, little self tanner type thing. This is by Sally Hansen. This is the Airbrush Lugs 
Um, this is just like an old go-to for me. Like, if I'm lazy, if I'm super duper lazy and I don't want to do self tanner, I don't want to do lotion or anything like that, and I'm going to wear a dress or I don't feel like doing a spray tan or anything like that, I'm going to wear a dress. Um, this is like makeup for your body, basically. It's going to be like a like foundation for your legs. So... You can get like a lighter one. I got the tan bronze. It's basically a leg makeup. So if I'm wearing a dress or shorts or something like that and I'm going to be out and I am like this color, <laughs> um, I will put this on. Usually I will put lotion on my legs first and then I will put this on just so it will glide on a little bit better. But this is a great, great product. It is drugstore. It does say water resistant. Now, I've never tested that theory, but I don't know. I don't know if it's water resistant or not. But for me, I would be a little skeptical wearing this like in the rain and stuff like that, you know, because I don't know, that would be a little embarrassing if it does kind of run off your legs. It says it's waterproof, but I don't know. I just know that I love, this is one, this is a drugstore product that I really enjoy repurchasing a lot. I mean, I've repurchased this so many times, I can't even tell you. Um, it's just a really nice thing to have in your bathroom for emergencies. If you're looking like ghostly and sickly and you want to wear something pretty, you want to expose your shoulders or your chest or your legs, you put this on and it just gives you such a beautiful, beautiful color to your skin. And it's instant. You don't have to wait. You don't have to wait. That's what I love about it. You can just put it on and go. It's super quick. So if you're lazy and you don't like to do self tanner because you don't want to wait and you don't want to let it dry and you're sticky and all that, you would probably like something like this. But like I said, this is drugs. I have five vegan deodorants. All right. So... The first one is the Smith's uh, Coconut Pineapple. Oh my gosh. This smells really, really fresh and beachy. Um, I have sensitive armpits, so I like, oh my gosh. I will break out very easily, so I have to be very careful with what I put up under my arms. Um, and so far, the Smith's, the sensitive version, I like, out of all of them, I think I like that one the best. Um, there's a few, there's a couple that have broke me out, but, yeah, there's two in here that I'm going to show you that has broke me out, but this one, the sensitive version, I bought it twice in the coconut, and then I also bought the sensitive skin formula in jasmine tea, which is a little strong, um, it's not very girly, and it's a little on the stronger scent. So if you like stuff like that, you might want to try the jasmine tea. Um, I like a little bit more softer smells, so I that's why I got this twice. Um, but I also just like it because it is for sensitive skin, for under your arms. It's a very sensitive area for me. Um, so yes, I've purchased this three times. So far, this is my favorite underarm deodorant um, that is natural. Um, yeah, it's my favorite. So I would repurchase it 100%. Um, now let me show you the two that has broke me out that are like um, natural deodorants. So this one is also by Scents, but this one is the Rose and Vanilla. Now this smells amazing. I love the way this one smells. Oh my god, it smells so good. This one is probably the best smell in the collection, but... This one breaks me out so bad. It is not for sensitive skin. So if you do have sensitive skin, this one's not for you. If you're pretty like, you have tough skin and nothing breaks you out or anything, then this will be great for you. And also, it's a very like fresh girl. It's more rose. I feel like it's more rose than vanilla. So if you like the smell of rose and a girly, I feel like it's more has that older woman sophisticated smell. If you like the smell of rose and you don't have sensitive skin, then you might want to give this a try. But for me, I will not be repurchasing this because it did break me out. So 
There's that one. Now, this one right here is the Native Deodorant. This one's in vanilla, coconut and vanilla. Um, and I don't know. I have a love-hate relationship with this one. Um, I used this whole bottle of um, deodorant, and it never broke me out. But then I just repurchased a new one, same scent, the coconut vanilla, and it breaks me out. Um, not all the time, but... If I shave my underarms and then put this on, oh my god, it burns so bad. And then for like three or four days, I like can't put my arms down. It just hurts really bad. I have all these like bumps. So I don't think I will repurchase this for the third time. But I still have another one in my collection. I am going to finish it up. I'm just trying not to shave. Um, I'm shaving, obviously. But I'm trying not to put this on directly my, on, on my under my armpits after I shave. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, it doesn't bother me as much if I just put it on, but it's like right after I shave and put it on, it burns. So I just have to be careful with that. But I won't be repurchasing this again. I definitely won't be repurchasing this again. I think I'm going to stick with the um, Smith's Sensitive Skin. Those are my favorite ones. Um, okay, so also I have several of the Dr. Teal um, bath, what are these called? This is the Dr. Teal's Pure Epsom Salt Soaking Solution Balance and Calm with Matcha Green Tea. I've always wanted to, I've always been really intrigued by the matcha tea because it's supposed to be so good for you. Um, this has matcha tea, matcha green tea, it has pure Epsom salt. Citrus and Calamine. So I used this one like before bedtime. And then these two I liked more for like bubble baths and stuff like that. This is the um, Foaming Bath uh, Smooth and Sleep Lavender. You guys know I love lavender. I told you with, um, if you guys watched my, uh, what is what was it called? My project, my skincare project pan. I have a Lush product that has lavender in it. It smells so amazing. I love the smell of lavender. And this one smells really good. It's very bubbly and gives your bath suds. Um, this one is the Dr. Teal's Foaming Bath Coconut Oil one. Um, I just heard coconut's good for, coconut oil is really good for your skin. It's supposed to moisturize. Um, but if I had to pick which one I would choose, with these scents, I honestly love lavender. I just, I'm a huge lavender fan. Um, so out of all three of these, which one did I like the most? I liked the Dr. Teal's Foaming Bath Lavender one the best. So there you go. Skin Active Marcella Cleansing Water. Um, this is just like a little mini one, and this one is in the original with the blue lid. Um, this one, I think, is, yeah, this one is for waterproof eye makeup. So, this one right here is a little more on the oily side. So, if you feel like you have, you wear, like, waterproof eyeliner or waterproof um, mascara, or maybe you just wear a lot of eye makeup and you have trouble getting your eye makeup to come off, um, the blue cap um, for waterproof makeup is the best one for you. So I have repurchased this a million times. I will continue to repurchase this brand. This one over here has the green top. I've also bought the pink one. And I think there, there might be another color. But I know there's green, blue, and pink. Um, and this one is a mattifying one. This is just supposed to purify your pores. Um, it's for oily skin. And it's for oily skin and sensitive skin. That's what I'm trying to say. So I do have sensitive skin. And this is just... It's not as oily as this one, but I honestly kind of prefer the oil better. It just removes all, like, I wear eyelash glue, and it just removes all the gunk off my lashes. And I kind of prefer the oil on my lashes and my eye makeup more than I like um, one without oil, if that makes sense. But I would repurchase all three of these. I, like I said, there's a pink one for sensitive skin. The green, the blue. I love these, and I will continuously re repurchase them. They're just like my favorite ones. Now, I'll show you one that I did not like, and I will not repurchase this one. This one is by um, Yes to Tomatoes. It's 
the clear skin um, it's a detoxing charcoal Marcella water this was just a hot mess um, it was black a black liquid and it was just I didn't like it it didn't do a very good job taking my eye makeup off and it just made a big mess and I don't like the pump um, the pump was very like I don't know you would pump it at the top and put like a q-tip here it was just like not convenient i didn't think um i like the top of this one better i could just pour it on there um this one like i said you you just pump it up and it comes out this and you just put the q-tip there or the pad whatever there um i just did not like this one so this one's a fail i would not be repurchasing that all right, that is all my skincare um, for the month of July, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry it was so long, but I had a lot of empties this month. And if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified for all future videos. Also, don't forget I have a giveaway coming up. I don't know if when you see this video, my giveaway will already be, but if it hasn't, then make sure to be subscribed so you can qualify for my giveaway. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will talk to you next time.